Hello guys, Varun here from the Apple Tutor and in this episode I'm going to be showing you how you can actually run Windows applications on your Mac without actually having Windows installed. So basically you're running them on Mac OS X. So the first thing you need to do is you need to download an application called Wine Bottler. And in this application you can basically run Windows apps on OS X. So basically go ahead and download it right here. And it shouldn't take too long, it's about 54 megabytes. So once you've done downloading that, you'll get the installer right here. And you just go ahead and drag these two applications into your Applications folder. So once you've got that, you can go ahead and open this up. Let's go ahead and open up Wine Bottler. So now you have the interface right here. You want to go ahead and go to Create Custom Prefixes. Well, that's basically what you want to do if you want to go ahead and install any Windows app. But if you go right here to install predefined prefixes, it'll basically give a list of available um, applications to install. Uh, these are basically within the package. So, for example, right here, Microsoft Internet Explorer. You can go ahead and download that, and it will run just like how it does in Windows. And silent install, I think, makes it faster. You can go ahead and click on install, and I have it already right here in my applications folder. Yep, there it is, Microsoft Internet Explorer, and yeah, it works pretty uh, well. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can do it with any Windows application. So if we go into our Endeavor browser, I'm going to try with Notepad. Notepad. Click on Notepad right here. Click on Download. And download any of these packages. I'm going to go ahead and download the zip package. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. So once we get that, you'll see Notepad, and you can choose any of these. I choose ANSI, and you'll see that we have it. It's called Notepad plus plus dot exe. So you'll get the um, icon like this, appearing like this. Sometimes you might have it as the unarchiver icon. Uh, if you have the unarchiver, you can go ahead to the unarchiver, and you can go ahead and basically uncheck the. Windows self extraction exe file you can just basically uncheck that so you want to go ahead and open up notepad this um, file right here open and you'll see that we have it opened up in wine and it says you're about to open a wine file you can choose a run directly or you can convert to a simple OSX application bundle I'm going to go ahead and run directly I click on go and um, should take not too long and it would always open up X11. That's basically what it does to run the file. And there, there you go. It works pretty pretty well. Yeah, it works really nice. And uh, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Very basic. And I hope to catch you in the next episode of the Apple Tutor. Cheers.